Hello, everyone. My name is Omar Awan. I'm a professor of radiology and the associate vice chair of education at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I want to speak today briefly about monkeypox and the terms epidemic and pandemic. It's led to a lot of confusion. Monkeypox is in the news, so I hope to demystify some of these important concepts with respect to public health. So let's talk a little bit about definition. So an epidemic, what is an epidemic? An epidemic is an unexpected increase in the number of disease cases in a specific geographic area. There's two key principles here. One is it's an unexpected increase. So it's it's cases that are on the rise and we don't expect them to increase. The other thing is, is that it's limited to a specific geographic area. It's not spreading to multiple countries all throughout the world, right? A nice example of this is the measles, the measles epidemic that occurred in the United States in the early 1900s. You know, there were increased number of cases. We didn't expect those cases and it was confined more or less to the United States, right? So smallpox is another example. Those are epidemics. In contrast to a pandemic, which I think we all are well aware of, it's an exponential disease growth, right? Often out of control, we can't control it spreading to a wide area, affecting multiple countries, multiple continents, perhaps the whole world, like the COVID-19 pandemic did, right? So nice example of what a pandemic is and how that's different from an epidemic. And when we say endemic, that means a disease outbreak that's consistently present, but limited to a particular region. So it's different than an epidemic because we expect it to be present, right? It's not an unexpected increase. It is confined to a particular region, but it's expected to be present consistently. An example of this would be malaria in certain parts of Africa. Malaria is always present and it's, we expect it to be present in certain areas uh, in Africa, right? It'll be present today, it'll be present a year from now and two years from now. That's endemic to a particular region. To put this into perspective and looking at the difference, you know, the severity of the disease really has nothing to do with these terms, you know, epidemic and pandemic, right? You know, how lethal the disease is, how many ICU admissions, nothing to do with the words epidemic and pandemic, but really it relates to the rate of spread. So again, in an epidemic, we're looking at a specific area, right? Confined to a specific region, whereas a pandemic can often spread to the entire world, multiple countries, multiple continents. An epidemic will have an unexpected increase in the number of cases, whereas in a pandemic, it's often the increase is exponential. We can't control it, it keeps spreading the spread tomorrow will be more than the spread today. That's a pandemic, right? So that's really the difference. And to put this into perspective even further, I wanna contrast COVID and monkeypox. So we took it, take a look at the total global cases based on the current CDC data. Uh, in 2022, there have been a little over 65,000 monkeypox cases worldwide. Contrast that to over 620 million COVID cases since 2020. The total number of USA deaths from monkeypox, or excuse me, the total number of USA cases from monkeypox is a little less than 25,000, whereas over 97 million cases of COVID in the United States. USA has the most number of COVID cases and the most number of monkeypox cases in the world. The total number of global deaths from monkeypox is actually only 26, with only one occurring in the United States. And of course, there have been more than 6 million global deaths from COVID-19. You can see the stark difference in the number of cases and the number of deaths between COVID and monkeypox. So then that begs the question, well, will monkeypox result in a pandemic? I don't think so. Probably not, right? Because there's so many reasons. One is because monkeypox doesn't spread as easily as COVID-19. Remember, there have been research and studies that show that COVID-19 can last uh, and be in the air for up to three hours, right? So it can spread you know, very rapidly. Whereas monkeypox really requires person-to-person -person contact to spread. It doesn't spread as easily as COVID-19. The other thing is that it's been around for some time, right? It, it occurred in 2003 in the United States. Uh, there are vaccines already that are available. There are treatments available for monkeypox. So the chances that there will be any exponential growth or its ability to go all throughout the globe is very limited, right? So very low chance or probability of becoming a pandemic the way COVID-19 did. Hope that was helpful to demystify some important public health principles. Thank you so much for your attention. Please subscribe to our MediD page, support our mission in passing uh, free knowledge worldwide. We'll see you again for another interesting video next week.